Hey, hey everyone. Um, I am back after a little bit of a hiatus from my YouTube channel and I wanted to give you a walkthrough of my completed uh, week in the life album for 2021. Um, I got this project done super fast, especially having a newborn at home, mainly because I love Week in the Life so much. And if you've been following me, you know my love that I have for this project. And I think sometimes when you really, really enjoy the project, you just get it done super fast. So really proud to have this one done. And um, I want to give you just a peek at um, you know, what I have left over from my supply. So I pretty much used everything. I got the AE mini kit and I also got the Paisley Press mini kit as well because I'm a sucker for black and white. And as you can see, I pretty much used almost everything. I'll incorporate a few of these things um, into Project Life, but pretty much used all my stickers except for a couple. Totally finished off the black hearts, which I love. This is so satisfying. Right, Ingen? <laughs> Uh, all but two chipboard pieces and then just a few of these. So um, feels really good to like use all of that product throughout the album um, and not have that much left over, but still some stuff that I can incorporate um, into Project Life. Okay, so here's a look at my album. I showed you my title page um, when I was working on it uh, during the prep party. I shared this on my Instagram page. So just used a few um, of the materials uh, from the product play or from the um, prep day class. So a few of the digital files, uh, the week in the life circle here, a few of the chipboard hearts, which um, I've kind of been saving from the day in the life kit and also the, I think it was the together um, kit as well. And I put the dates on here, the acrylic piece was an add-on, I want to say maybe around December or January that I had just saved. Um, so I was really glad that I saved that in my stash, which worked really well. And then this rainbow piece is actually um, cardboard from the Color Theory Studio Calico envelope that I saved as well, because I was like, you know what, someday that's going to come in really handy, and it really did. So you know, if you were working out of the mini kits, um, there was a lot of black and white if you got um, the, the Paisley Press mini kit, but also then the rainbow um, in Allie's mini kit. So I love this idea of like black and white and then pops of rainbow. So that's really kind of what I used as I worked on my album. I also shared my reason why um, here. And then uh, like many of you, I did kind of this stuff of life page with the two by two page protectors. So things like my favorite almond cro croissants um, from Trader Joe's, my coffee receipts, um, envelopes from cards and things like that. And then I did slip these um, kind of pie pieces in here on the two corners and um just again like most of my week in the life albums i love having see-through elements um so using those diamonds um in a couple of the spots here but then allowing that kind of see-through element um the stuff tells a story was one of the uh, digital downloads from the prep party um, and i just printed that on vellum and i like the way that that looks so every day pretty much follows the same formula. I started with these transparencies that I'm totally in love with. And I spent a lot of time thinking about how to incorporate um, the diamond uh, chipboard and um, transparency pieces. And I ultimately decided after kind of going back and forth a lot of different um, kind of options, I decided to put the diamonds on uh, the transparency. So, um, there wasn't a lot of rhyme and reason to which ones I picked, except for uh, the story of today. So we got seven of these in the kit, so it's perfect to do one for each day. And I grouped together similar colors. So a lot of Monday's things were this bluish color. So I grabbed the today card. Monday looks like this. I did end up getting those half circle transparency. So I decided to kind of like keep it in the blue family for Monday. And then I just grabbed other um, chipboard pieces and, and put those on top. And I did stamp the date here on Stays on Ink. And I just kind of arranged them so you could still kind of see the photo. And then I put a six by eight photo on the back here. And I, I didn't do anything to these photos on any of the days of the week. And I wanted to because, you know, I purposely take photos that have white space or areas that I can embellish or journal. So I had to kind of fight the urge to not put anything here, but I just love the simplicity of like a full six by eight photo. 
And then on the back, I did, um, since I had a six by eight space to work with here, I decided to pair the two four by six cards here. So the Monday details and stories, which is where I did the bulk of my journaling and then a four by six photo. And then each of these photos have one of the chipboard or the wooden pieces, banners that came in one of the mini kits. Um, so I did most of my journaling on these cards. I have the physical cards, so I decided to run those through my printer. And there's a tutorial um, that Allie has on her blog. You can Google it. You can search for it. And essentially, you run it through the printer once, so you kind of know where to line it up. And then you tape the physical card and run it through the printer a second time. And you have this beautiful typed journaling here, which I really like. And as I've said in previous videos, I like to have a combination of typed journaling and then also my handwriting. I just like to have both of those here. So bulk of my journaling here. Then I did the um, half circle transparency paired with a photo. Um, so this is kind of outside of the page protector. I ran it through my sewing machine. Not well, as you can see, I get better. Um, but the first one was kind of not so great. But yeah, just including the photos, I, I put a one of the heart stickers on each one of these. And then I paired those patches here, which I just love. On the back, I have another photo. I punched out a circle just to kind of cover the back of that patch and then use those cork um, letters the corresponding days and paired it with a piece of the um, embellishments um, from that AE mini kit. Some days I have extra inserts but not always but Monday I tend to have way more photos so I put a little bit of an insert here use the chipboard as kind of a tab. So I do different tabs on each one of those. And like the embellishing is really simple. Um, again, I'm keeping that blue element here. So I did cut off, um, these, are, these were full circles and you could have kept them as a full circle like this, but I thought it was fun to cut it in half. And so I could use one here and then you can see the other one is there. And I, I just like I think for some folks, this would be maybe be too matchy-matchy, but I really like keeping it all together. Simple embellishing on the photos, you know, stickers, chipboard pieces. Each day has these three by four transparencies with the days of the week um, that I printed on, and then they each get their corresponding circle here. And then these felt hearts, which are gorgeous, um, came in, in that mini kit. So I stapled that on there and added a little bit of twine. Like Allie, um, I stamped, I, I pretty much journaled things that I didn't take pictures of. Um, so the times or general times and then a little bit of journaling about some other stuff that happened that maybe I don't have the pictures of in my album. Then I put a three by four photo on the back, um, one of the uh, heart stickers that has some of the text on them. And then, you know, all of the INGs and these were fun. And you know, one thing that really helped me get my album done quickly is taking really good notes throughout the week. So I had all of that journaling, but then also doing that at the end of the day, which I think was part of Allie's process as well. Um, if I could sit down and just journal out both the today card and the looked like this card, um, a lot of that was already done. Of course, this journaling took me a little bit longer to do, but um, as much as I could do in advance um, was really helpful. And I know that's not everyone's style. Some people like to just go through the week, live it all, and then go back later and, and reflect and do journaling that way. It's, it's whatever works for you. All right, same formula for Tuesday. We've got the chipboard pieces, grouping light colors, stamped my date, and then nothing on this um, six by eight photo. And, you know, there wasn't a huge like rhyme or reason why I, like how I selected these photos. It was just photos I really liked that looked really good, kind of blown up, or that told a really good story. Like here, you know, we always do tummy time and activity time. I usually have a basket of laundry, a cup of coffee. Mark comes up from the basement where he works and, and you know, we have heart eye emojis at the baby. And so this was right after bath time in the evening. So it was just pictures that I really liked. So this was a little bit of a play on one of the lessons in the prep party that Allie did. Um, I think for her, in her project, she did This Is Us, and maybe it was everyone in the family with the ages. 
but she created a similar pocket, um, which was just something I printed out on cardstock and then stitched and, and put a little insert here. But instead of doing this is us or this is me, I decided to do an overheard tag. So actually my partner doesn't even know this, but these were things that I overheard Mark saying to Harrison throughout the week. I just kind of kept notes. And so, you know, a lot of the times it's like questions he's asking him, like as if he's gonna answer back, like what's wrong, hairball? Hairball's a nickname we have for him and we say it with the greatest amount of love. <laughs> um, but yeah, like these are just things that I heard and, and these are things that I really, really treasure when I look back at kind of seeing some of those quotes. Had an extra chipboard piece that I didn't use so I put that on there with one of the stickers. And I actually had a lot of photos on Tuesday as well. You know, I have a lot of steam for the project right away and so I did an extra page protector here with uh, three by four inserts. Always a reminder, save your packaging. In fact, I saved both of mine here because these are incredible to embellish with. So think about how you can use packaging in your in your product as or project as well. And then I just put um, one of the three by four cards. I cut that out in the circle um, to kind of correspond with the dinner photo here. Here's a look at Wednesday. Didn't have a ton of photos on Wednesday, to be honest, and that's okay. Like, going into this project, I knew the minimum amount of photos that I needed to keep the general formula, and anything extra I had, awesome, put in additional page protectors, but this was just a day I didn't have a ton of pictures. I did save text messages. Um, really fun to use the phone template, which you'll see in a little bit. This would have been fun to do for, um, for like text conversations, but instead I did apps, which I'll show you, but, um, have a few of those. And yeah, that's it for Wednesday. I also had a lot for Thursday. This one's one of my favorite photos. <laughs> Chilling in the backyard. It was a nice day. Sometimes the wood veneer banners, like the sentiment on them didn't always match. Just a reminder, you can flip it over, use the blank side, you can cover it with a sticker, which is what I did here. So I did this habit. I always think it's fun to show like what products you're using because I don't know about you, but these change pretty often for me. So I actually did my morning um, skincare routine here. You always got to get that picture right in the aisle. <laughs> it's always it's always a fun game of like Russian roulette. Like, is somebody gonna walk down the aisle right as I'm taking this photo? I got really lucky here. <laughs> Sometimes when I had extra photos, um, I would just um, punch them and put them right into the album. Actually, the diamonds create kind of a nice tab um, to be able to flip that. My friend sent me warm cookies, and so I just included the tag here, which has a nice little note. Had extra paper. Um, when I printed off, I printed this um, overheard tag kind of on a, I think, eight and a half by 11. So it was kind of nice to have extra paper that I could just create um, kind of a background card. And I do that several places in here. Okay, so this is my page um, that I did uh, to kind of show a routine, but a little bit of a difference in the routine every day. Um, and I have done this for a number of years. If you've been following me or you tuned into my uh, Instagram lives that we did, um, this is something that I've done for the past, gosh, I don't know, maybe four or five years. This is my eighth year doing the project. But this is something that I did in 2019. I take I took the same photo of me in front of this long mirror. And I know other people in the community played along and they tagged me, which was really fun. I loved seeing those. But this is Monday through Friday, same mirror um, at my job, kind of showing my outfit, which is pretty fun to see that. Um, in 2019, I did my coffee cups. So again, it's like, it's something I do every day. I have a cup of coffee or two or three, um, but I had a different mug for each one, right? So all about like feminism and you know um being a cat mom and then um in 2020 
I did something kind of similar. I was taking a lot of walks because that was pretty much the only time I could get out of the house. So I did a foot, I did a feet picture um, on my walk with the distance that I walked. And that one's a flip out because I did a three by eight last year. Um, so really fun to kind of see some different pictures of where, where I was walking. And so this year I decided to document tummy time with my son. So every morning, we try to do tummy time. He hates it. I've talked about it on my Instagram before, but like he's always in his like really cute sleepers and sometimes like the bottom of his feet are a different color with the ones. So anyway, so I did this, um, all three by four photos. He's obviously on a different blanket. So again, it's like showing this routine, but, but the subtle differences within them. And then I use these Monday through Sunday stickers that came in the black and white kit. And I just love how that looks. I also paired it with um, a story kit card from the morning story kit. I used mostly the, the Week in the Life products, but um, go through like your story by the month or your story kits because a lot of those cards lend themselves um, to documenting this project, especially the morning kit, the evening kit, really helpful. So more, more stories um, from that Thursday. And then I decided to just stick this one in on Thursday. Um, no rhyme or reason, but it just worked to have these two six by eight page protectors here. So I decided one thing that I thought about in advance was a story I wanted to tell about how we use our phones these days, especially with Harrison, with our newborn, because we use a lot of apps to be able to take care of him. And so I use the digital template from um, Ali's shop that you can download for Week in the Life. Highly recommend. There's amazing templates in there. Um, you also get those days of the week um, that, you, that I used for my transparencies. But I decided to highlight six apps that we're using. So something with his bassinet, Wonder Weeks, our baby cam, my pump log, um, something related to um, developmental milestones, and then of course Google, because we're Googling everything. And then I just created my own grid over here um, to be able to talk about how we use these apps or why they're so helpful. So I just ran this through my stitching machine with green thread, because that's what I had in it. Created a title here with tech. So I pulled out some of my tech story kit. I just had a few pieces left. And then um, just one through six, and I just journaled a little bit about what we're using and why it's so helpful. I loved including this because this is gonna change like super quickly. It's, it's why I love this project. It captures what we're doing in this moment of time, and then it's gonna change really quick, especially as our baby gets older. And then because I had this spot here with the six by eight, I decided to blow up another one of the pictures, one of my favorites um, from our morning routine here. And I'm okay that it's at the end, you know? I think some people feel the need to say like, this is how the day started and this is how it ended. I kind of mix all these pictures together, but I liked this one because this tells such a story, right? Here I am, I'm singing. I think we have maybe a 70s playlist on and I'm trying to get ready with this baby who's demanding all of my attention and so I'm trying to keep him happy and I journaled about how like most mornings I'm just trying to make it work right like I have a cat on the counter here who's probably knocking stuff off I am makeup brush in one hand and we're just we're doing the best we can <laughs> Friday we have yellow picture of Oliver in front of the front door love pictures like this very inspired with playing with light um, and kind of the different types of um, photography you can get when you get a different angle, right? I got down on the floor here and I just think that provides a really cool um, story. Insert here, but not that many photos um, for Friday. Maybe one of my favorite photos from the week, love this one. Here's Saturday. Again, I tried to kind of play with placement of the photo. It's kind of nice that you can see both myself and Harrison kind of in between the Saturday here and then just putting the diamonds around so you can still kind of see that photo. Love having a formula. It just works for me. Everything just kind of falls into place when I have this general formula and then you know if I want to try something different like here's a different type of page protector it's six by eight but it has two three by eight slots here I could still use three by fours but it was it really worked with this photo of my friend Allison holding Harrison to, to kind of have that size and that works well and it worked well on this one too so being able to have our dinner here and then two three by four photos 
I take it back. This this one is my favorite picture from the week. We got Oliver here, Harrison, my partner. It's perfect. And then Sunday. Another photo I like. We washed our sheets on Sunday. And Oliver, of course, loves the clean, warm sheets. Here's a different page protector that I use. So this one is the three by six with the two by three at the top. Um, I also wanted to, dic to, to document um, the nicknames that we currently have for Harrison. Cause again, these are things that change too. And um, I decided to pull out the same alphabet stamp, which was a former, I think travel, travel alpha that came out maybe last year or the year before, but I wanted to repeat the same one that I used for reason why and also incorporate the rainbow again. Now, in hindsight, this alpha is probably a little bit too big for what I was hoping to accomplish here. Apparently we have a ton of nicknames for Harrison, but I'm actually okay with it. I got kind of bummed because it cut off one of the nicknames I was doing here, but honestly, we have so many, it kind of just illustrates that it goes on and on and on, right? Um, and so it was kind of fun to to stamp these out and have some bigger text in here. I kind of wish I would have repeated this maybe somewhere else, maybe like on the tech apps or something, but I really like that. And then my last um, ING card, I actually had my partner fill out. I had said in a previous video, I love it when I can get his stories, his words, and his handwriting into my album. So I had him do Sunday, which is pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, that is a look at my album. Uh, I feel so grateful um, that I'm going to have a week in the life album with the perspective of having a newborn. Um, this is my eighth year doing this project. It's my favorite because I love seeing how things stay the same and change over time. What routines am I still doing and what patterns have changed? And a lot, obviously, change this year. And so I'm so happy that I have these things um, and these memories documented here because I know that they are fleeting. So if you're done with your project, awesome. If you're still working, awesome. Keep going. I can't wait to see what all of you create. I think one of the best things about doing Week in the Life is following along with the community and being inspired um, with everyone else's words and photography and final project. Thanks for watching.